Hey everybody, we are talking about 2, 3 today, linear equations and the slope of a line. So the slope of the line is a numerical measure of the steepness of a line or the ratio of the rise. Rise can be up or a negative rise would be down to the run, to the left or to the right. The ratio of the rise to the run and ratio just means fraction, right? So we're gonna put the rise on the top, the numerator of the fraction, and the run is the denominator of the fraction. The slope M of a line containing any two points, P1. So just to denote that it's your first point, we put a sub one, X sub one, Y sub one are the two coordinates of that single point. And then point two, X sub two, Y sub two is rise over run or Y, 2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, this makes sense because we find the difference between the y values because the rise is on the y axis, right? So that's the y axis. So that's the rise up or down. And then we have the x axis would be the run. Okay, so to determine the run, we find the difference between the two x values of the two points. The slope is just telling you how to get from one point to the next point on your line that you have graphed, okay? So this is called the slope formula, and we're going to use the slope formula to find the slope m of the line containing the points 2, 8, and 6, negative 3. You can use either point as point one. Let's use the first one. P1 is two eight. So two is X1, eight is Y1. Point two is six negative three. So six is X2, negative three is Y2, okay? So we have M, which represents the slope, equals Y2 minus Y1, negative three, minus eight over x2, which is six, minus x1, which is two. So that becomes negative 11 over four. So that means negative 11 is the rise, how much we go up or down. Four is the run, how much we go left or right, okay? Uh, I'll also show you that it does not matter if it's P1 or P2. So I'll just do it again, but this will be X2, Y2, X1, Y1, okay? So now the slope M is eight minus negative three over two minus six. The eight minus a negative three becomes eight plus three because minus a negative is a positive. So now we have positive 11 on top, but we have a negative four on the bottom. So that becomes, if I just put the negative out in front, negative 11 fourths, and this was also negative 11 fourths. And what that looks like is I have a point, I need to go down 11 from that point. And then I need to go over positive four. Okay, so those would be my two points or, so that was down 11 to the positive. So that was negative 11 Y, right? And then positive four, X. Or you can start at this point, right? Go up 11, positive 11 Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And negative 4X. 1, 2, 
three, four, right? So you go the same distance, but in this example, we went negative four X, positive 11 Y. So it does not matter if you put P1 or P1, okay? Draw a graph of the line that contains the point two one and has a slope of three two or a slope of negative five two. All right, so a positive, this is a positive slope, right? M equals three, two. This is a positive slope. And they will always be going that way if it's a positive slope. This example is a negative slope. And they will always be going this way. So I think of it as you're reading a book or you're reading in English, right? Left to right. Positive slopes go up from left to right, negative slopes go down from left to right, okay? They both have the same point. Gosh, that's terrible. A little bit better. Okay, so both, uh, both graphs start at the point or have the point two on the X, one Y. So I'll just put that on both graphs right now. Two X, one Y, so that's two, one, two, one, okay? This, we're gonna go up three to the right two. You can also go, double negative, right? Down three to the right two, to the left two, excuse me. All right, so that is that line. If your line's not perfect, it just means that you, like me, did not space these very well. <laughs> uh, so that would be a positive slope of three over two. Now over here, we want a negative slope of five over two. So that means I can go, down five y, one, two, three, four, five, and then positive two on the x, or I can go up five, negative two on the x, one, two, three, four, five. And there is my negative slope. Vertical lines are in the form of X equals A, where A is the X intercept. Um, vertical lines have an undefined slope. They rise, vertical lines rise, but never run. So, and remember slope is rise over run. So if you have a rise up and down, but you never run, the denominator, the run is always zero. And if you are dividing by zero, it will always equal undefined. We cannot divide, we can't divide any number by zero. You can't even divide zero by zero. All right, so if I was gonna go six divided by zero, no. Zero divided by zero, no. Okay, so it only also, it only intersects the x-axis. Or crosses the x-axis. 
So run equal to zero always, which means it is always undefined. If it interacted with the y-axis at all, it would have a y value, but it does not. So this says graph the equation x equals two. It only intersects the x-axis. Because it has an x in the equation, it crosses the x-axis x in equation crosses x-axis. And I'm just going to jump ahead to slide four, right? And slide four is y, OK? If there is a y in the equation, it crosses the y-axis. If it has both x and y, it means it's at an angle and it will cross both axes. x equals 2. So 2 on the x will be here. And that is 2, 0. Right? And then we need another line. It's a vertical right line. So it just goes straight up and down. So I'll choose that one. Now it's two, two. This one would be two, negative four. Okay. That's my line. And I can even show you M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so y2 was 0 minus 2. x2 was 2 minus 2. So that'll be negative 2, 0, which is undefined because you can't divide by zero. Horizontal lines do not rise or fall. So, y, sorry, m equals rise over run. So the rise is always equal to zero. So the slope will always be zero. Only interacts or crosses, only interacts with the y-axis. because it cannot go up or down, okay? So find an equation of the horizontal line containing the point two, three, and graph. Two x, three y is here, and it's horizontal, so it's only gonna go this way. So I can go two, three, one, three, 0, 3, negative 1, 3. We're just going across. And y is always the same value. Just like last time, x was always 2. This time, y is always 3, right? So m equals, so this was 2, 3. And we'll say this is negative 1, 3, right? x1, y1, x2, y2. M equals three minus three over two minus negative one. So that's always zero. And then this will be three. Zero over three is zero. So the slope is always zero. Let's 
um, something useful to know is slope guy. Slope guy looks like this. All right, what he is saying to us, this is a face, can you tell? What this face is saying to us is if the slope is going this way, the slope is positive. If the slope is going this way, that slope is always negative. If the slope is going straight up and down, that slope is undefined. And if the slope is flat, that's a zero slope. Okay? Slope man. Point slope form of a line is the equation of a non vertical line with a slope m that contains the point x1, y1. So this is only called x sub one, y sub one to differentiate it from y and x that are always in the equation of a line, right? So we have y equals mx plus b is one way to write it. Uh, y minus y one equals m x minus x one, or even a x plus b y equals c. So those are all different ways to write this, uh, the equation of a line, and they all have x and y. So when you have x and y without the sub one, it's just the usual x and y. So the point needs x sub one, y sub one. You only have one point, but you need to differentiate the point from the x and y that are always in your equation, okay? So you use this equation if you only have one point and slope. So I know the slope and I know the point. I know a single point. I can use this form, OK? Find the point slope form of an equation with the, of the line with a slope 3. That means m is 3, containing the point 1, negative 4. P1 is 1, negative 4. So x1 is the value of 1. y1 has the value of negative 4. Does that make sense? So now I can just put these parts into my equation. y minus y1 equals m times the value of x minus x1. Let's replace them. y minus negative four equals three times x minus one. Y minus negative four becomes y plus four. Distribute the three, three x minus three, because a three times a negative one is a negative three. All right, now I'm just gonna move the four. Y equals three x minus seven. All right, so now I've changed it from this form to this form, just because just it's my favorite form. So find the equation of the line with a slope three containing the point one, negative four. You can check it in Desmos. So y equals three x minus seven, and then the point one, negative four. It looks like that point is on the line. Slope intercept form of a line uh, is when you have the y-intercept, which is where the line crosses y. where the line crosses the y-axis is your y-intercept, and it's also a point on your line, okay? 
So the y-intercept is B. And then your slope is M. And then you just have the regular X and Y, okay? Find the slope M and y-intercept B of the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6, and then graph for the equation, graph the equation. So my first step is going to be solve for y. Two x plus three y equals six. Get rid of the two x. So now I have three y equals negative two x plus six. And then I'm gonna divide everything by three. So now I just have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? So my slope is negative 2 thirds. My y-intercept is 2. Or you could say my y-intercept is 0 on the x, 2 on the y, because it's a point, OK? So I know it has a negative slope. A negative slope is going to go It's going to go like that. My y intercept is 2. And then I'm going to need to go down two to the right three, or up two to the left three. And there's my line. Um, this equation has an x and a y. So that means it's going to cross the x and the y axis, just like before when it only had All right. It only has an x. It only crosses the x. It only has Sorry, I don't think I ever wrote this. So this is y equals three. Only y, only crosses y. X and y, like this, or x and y like this, will cross the x-axis, sorry, the x-axis and the y-axis. So that's just a good thing if you uh, kind of don't remember what x equals three, if it should cross the x or the y x equals three should cross the x. Example seven, find the equation of the line containing the points three, two, and negative three, four. Okay, so, so far we have slope intercept form, point slope form, and a slope formula, right? So slope, is m, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So for slope, oops, I'm sorry. For slope, I need two points, right? Any two points, and I can find my slope. Then I have point slope form. That is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I need one point. And the slope. It can be any point, OK? And then finally, I have the slope intercept form. which is y equals mx plus b. I need slope 
and a very specific point, the y-intercept. So this is what we have learned today. So the equation of the line containing the points 3, 2, and negative 3, 4 means all I have is two points. I have to start with the slope formula, OK? So m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is p1. So this is x1, y1. This is p2. So this is x2, y2. x2 was 4. Or sorry, y2 is 4. y1 is 2. 4 minus 2. x2 is negative 3. x1 is 3. Negative 3 minus 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6, right? So now I have two divided by six. We can reduce that, right? Because two goes into two and six. Two goes into two one time. Two goes into six three times, and it was a negative. So I just found my slope. I put my negative out front. It doesn't matter if you put it with the two or the six or out front. My slope is negative one third. Now I have a point. I have two points, and I have the slope. It doesn't look like I have the y-intercept because I don't have a point where x is 0. So I must use point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1 means y minus, which one of these looks easier? This one doesn't have a negative. So I'm going to do this one. y minus 2 equals m negative 1 third times x minus x1 was 3. Now I'm just going to solve this equation. y minus 2 equals, now I'm going to distribute the negative 1 third, negative 1 third x. Negative 1 third times negative 3 becomes a positive 1. And then I'm going to move the 2. Because if I want to graph the line, I want it in slope intercept form, I think is the easiest one for me to graph. So now I have y equals negative one third x plus three. Now I know that my slope is negative one third and my y intercept is three or zero three as a point. Okay. So I'm going to start at 3, or at 0, 3. I'm going to go down 1 to the right 3. Or I can go up 1 and then to the left 3. There's my line. Craft. OK. And then I can go to Desmos. I can say my points are 3, 2, and negative 3, 4. And my equation was y equals negative 1 third x plus 3. And it goes through both of those lines. So I found the equation of a line going through those two points. General form, the equation of a line in general form is written as ax plus by equals c, OK? So this is currently in slope inter, or sorry, point slope form, x minus x1. Oh, no, it's not. It's backwards. OK, so this equation. <laughs> It's in reverse point slope form, <laughs> in general form, and then graph by finding its intercepts. Okay, so a darker color. X 
minus three equals two times y plus three. And I want it in general form, x and y over here, and then the constant over here. x minus three equals two y plus six. So I just distributed the two. Now I'm gonna move, I want the y over here. So I'm gonna move the two y, that's my, I'm gonna put it way over here so that I know it doesn't go with the x or the negative three. So now I have x minus two y minus three equals six. So I've put the two y over here, so I didn't add it with anything, but I know in this form, I want the x ahead of the y. So I'm just trying to put it in order as I go. So now we need to move the three, right? This I can put below the six because it's actually like terms. So now I have x minus two y equals six plus three is nine, okay? x minus two y equals nine, all right? Graph by finding its intercepts. So to find the intercepts of this line, we set equal to zero, right? So for the x-intercept, y is equal to zero. So instead of x, let's move this way down here. x minus 2y equals 9. Now we have x minus 2 times 0 equals 9 x minus zero equals nine, x equals nine, okay? So that x-intercept means when x is nine, y is zero, right? Whenever x is nine, y is zero. Whenever y is zero, x can only be nine for this equation. Now we'll do the y-intercept, which means we set x equal to zero. x minus 2y equals 9. 0 minus 2y equals 9. Negative 2y equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 2. y equals negative 9 halves. 9 halves is like 4 and a half, right? Because 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus another half, okay? So when x is zero, y will be negative four halves. So my intercepts are, now I take those back up here. My intercepts are, x equals 9 and y equals negative 4 and a half. All right, now you know how to find the slope, use the point slope formula use the slope-intercept form, and use the general form, okay? Now we'll talk about parallel lines. So parallel lines are like railroad tracks. They will always be the same distance apart, okay? You can look down railroad tracks and they will look like they're coming together, but they never do, right? And even if, so if here are my two parallel lines, if one was even a little bit off, eventually they would cross, right? So they must have the same slope, but a different y-intercept, because if they had the same y-intercept, they would be the same line, right? So uh, determine if the lines are parallel Verify using a graphing utility. 
So uh, we need to find the slope. The easiest way to find the slope is just to find, put it into slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b to find m. Okay, so x plus 2y equals 6. Move the x. Now I have 2y equals negative x plus 6. And then divide by 2. So now it's y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. M is negative one half for L1. L1 just means line one. Line one has a slope of negative one half, okay? Line one has a y-intercept of positive three. Line two, two x plus four y equals zero. Same thing, we're just getting y alone. So I'll subtract the two x. Shouldn't have put that there, should have put that over here. <laughs> they are not like terms. Uh, so those cancel, now I just have 4y equals negative 2x plus zero. I can just say negative 2x, right? Divide by four, divide by four. That either doesn't exist or divide zero by four. <laughs> uh, y equals negative 2 fourths x. Okay, I'm gonna just drop the zero. Uh, negative two fourths, we can divide both two and four by two and you get negative one half X. So for line two, M is negative one half and B is zero. It has no Y intercept as a number. And so we just assume it goes through the origin. It has the same slope or sorry, they have the same slope. They have different y-intercepts, so they are parallel. And they want us to verify, so we can just graph both of these. Uh, so we have x plus 2y equals 6 which or, right, or I could say y equals negative one half x plus three. And that's the same line. Here it's, oops, here it's red, here it's green, same line, right? And then here we have two x plus four y equals zero or y equals negative one half x. Those are parallel. Find an equation of the line that contains the point one zero and is parallel to the line x plus two y equals six. All right, if they are parallel, they have the same slope, right? So first I need to find the slope of the line x plus two y equals six. So I'm gonna say y equals mx plus b to find what? To find m. x plus two y equals six. Subtract x. Now I have two y equals negative x plus six. Divide by two. Y equals negative one half X plus three. So my slope is negative one half and it contains the point. So now I have one point and I have a slope. So I need point slope form y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1, right? Because I have one point. 
So I have these two, I have M, I can use point slope form. All right, so y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, y minus zero equals negative one half x minus one. So that's just y equals negative one half x, negative one half times a negative one just becomes a positive one half, right? multiply anything by negative one, you just change the sign. So my slope is negative one half and my y-intercept is one half. Let's look in Desmos and see if these look like they are parallel. So x plus two y equals six and y equals negative one half x plus one half. Those look parallel and contains the point one zero. Yes, so that works. Perpendicular lines. All right, two lines that intersect at a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees and whose slopes are opposite reciprocals. Opposite means switch the sign or same distance from zero, okay? Opposite means opposite sign. Equal distance from zero on a number line in the opposite direction. Like three, negative three, right? So opposites, right? So opposite, opposite, and then reciprocal means flip the fraction. So three's reciprocal would become one third. Two fifths would become five halves. Okay. If a line has a slope negative one half, then any line having slope two would be perpendicular to it because we switched the sign from negative to positive and then we flipped the fraction and put the two on the top, one on the bottom, right? So negative one half is perpendicular. to two, or you could say two over one, right? If you wanna see it. Negative to positive, one half to two over one. So find an equation of the line that contains the point one, negative two. Those are my X and my Y. and is perpendicular to the line x plus two y equals two. Verify using a graphing utility. So first I need slope, right? And we've done this quite a few times this lesson. x plus two y equals two, but I want it in m, y equals mx plus b form. So I'm gonna subtract x. Two y equals negative x plus two. Then we're going to divide by two. Two divided by two is just y. Negative one half x plus two divided by two is one. Okay, so our slope is negative one half, but our perpendicular. We're gonna switch the negative for a positive, and then we're gonna move two up to one. 
or just two, okay? From negative to positive, from one half to two over one. So my new slope, line one has a slope of negative one half. Line two has a perpendicular slope of positive two, okay? Now I'm gonna use point slope form because I have one point and one um, slope. Y minus Y1 equals M times the quantity X minus X1. Y minus negative two equals two times the quantity X minus one. Y minus negative two becomes Y plus two. Distribute the two, two X minus two, okay? Subtract the two to get Y alone. Now I have Y equals two X minus four. My slope is two. My Y intercept is negative four or negative four zero. Okay. So let's make sure these are perpendicular. Okay. So it's perpendicular to X plus two Y equals two. It passes through the point one, negative two. And we say it is y equals 2x plus 4. Nope, 2x minus 4, sorry. And that x is too big to have caps locked. 2x minus 4. Whew, that was dramatic, right? All right, it is perpendicular. That looks like a 90 degree angle, and it does pass through one negative two. All right, was that the last one? That was the last one. Uh, excellent. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.